Kodiak had a year 2014 very, very particular. Why? Well, um, I'm sure he had the most. He broke the record. This year he beat his brother Invincible and uh, he had his first group one winner and first group winner. So everything kind of, he came good for us this year, thankfully. And he, alors, il a eu beaucoup de, beaucoup de choses qui se sont passées. Il a battu des records, il a battu son frère au niveau des statistiques Invincible Spirit. Il a eu son premier gagnant de groupe et son premier gagnant de groupe. Et en termes de chiffres, alors il a battu deux records très particuliers. With those two records he beat, can you, can you explain the two records he beat Kodiak? Well, um, well, obviously Invincible had had the record for the guts of 10 years and it was, God, it takes a bit of beating, so... Uh, and um about the number of winners that's it yeah the, well getting 44 winners kind of uh if we had got another i think there's another eight we'd have beaten sunday silence so that that would have made the world record but um alors voilà, il a, failli, il a failli battre un record du monde détenu par Sunday Silence, mais il a battu un record d'Europe qui était détenu par son frère Invincible Spirit. C'est le nombre de vainqueurs obtenus, individuels obtenus dans l'année, en l'occurrence au nombre de 44. Et évidemment, le nombre de saillies a suivi. And the number of mares. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, and yeah, sure, he, he was inundated with mares and the winners kept coming, the mares kept coming. He covered the most amount of the highest number of flat mares in, in Europe. How many? 234. <rire> voilà, il a, il a sailli 230 juments, ce qui fait, en 2014, ce qui fait de lui le cheval, bah, le roco d'or d'Europe en fait, hein, le cheval qui a sailli le plus de poulinières, pour les chevaux de plat bien sûr, hein, en Europe.